Hello everyone. Welcome to IEMA's channel. Today, we will compare two less common materials for transistor power supplies. This is a C MOSFET power supply, and this is the GON power supply, both with specifications of 48V5A slash 200s and 40W. In this video, we will take a detailed look at their internal structures, individual characteristics, and differences in practical applications. The first step is to test the weight of these two power supplies. This is the C MOSFET power supply. Let's measure its weight first. Okay, we can see that its weight is 628.5 G. Now let's take a look at this GON power supply. Its weight is 383 G. From the measurements, we can see that the C MOSFET power supply is heavier and larger in size. The GON power supply is overall lighter and saves space. The next step is to disassemble and explore the internal structures of the two power supplies. First, let's disassemble the C MOSFET power supply. Okay, this is what it looks like after disassembly. Now let's continue to disassemble the GON power supply. It can be opened directly. This is their internal structure. Let's take a look at the chip of the C MOSFET power supply first. Next is the chip of the GON power supply. This heat sink can be easily removed. So, what are the differences in the internal structural components of the two power supplies? These are their respective transformers. As we can see, the transformer of the GON power supply is smaller, while the transformer of the C MOSFET power supply is slightly larger. Let's also take a closer look at the heat sinks inside. In comparison, the heat sink of the gallium nitride power supply is also smaller. Because the gallium nitride power supply has lower switching losses and higher efficiency, both the heat sink and transformer are smaller. The C MOSFET power supply, due to its higher switching losses, requires a larger heat sink and power transformer. After discussing the internal structures, let's summarize the differences and characteristics of the two transistor materials. First, Let's look at the characteristics of the C MOSFET transistor. Its first characteristic is mature and stable, validated through years of design and use, ensuring high stability and reliability. Its second characteristic is strong adaptability. C MOSFET transistors can provide stable voltage output, making them suitable for various traditional applications. Additionally, it has higher parasitic junction capacitance, resulting in larger switching losses, lower efficiency, and greater heat generation, requiring larger cooling devices. Next, let's summarize the characteristics of the GON transistor. First, it has lower parasitic junction capacitance, reduced switching losses, diminished Miller effect, and is suitable for higher switching frequencies. Additionally, the gallium nitride transistor has lower reverse recovery charge and reduced reverse recovery losses, helping to improve system efficiency. The benefits of GON applications include high frequency and efficiency, leading to smaller size. GON is also widely used in charging devices for electric vehicles. Anchor and Apple chargers have already adopted GON on a large scale. Currently, in addition to the 48V5A and 48V10A power supplies, we are also using GON power supplies with specifications of 24V8A and 24V4A. Our recent products, such as the A70 and B07, have already started using gallium nitride power supplies. Before disassembling the power supply, please ensure to disconnect the power and discharge the capacitors to avoid electric shock and ensure safe operation. If you're interested in our video, 
don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get more exciting teardown and review videos.